welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jackie L. Thank you for joining us today. So some of you guys may or may not be familiar with the Estate Edit. They have created a different line of products which basically are designed to kind of like celebrate unique beauty. Kendall Jenner just recently curated a eyeshadow palette which I will be demonstrating today. And basically the look is just going to be about celebrating unique individuality and creativity. And I feel like one of the things that makes me the most unique is like some of my facial features. I have huge eyes, big lips, and some people just don't know what to do with those features or they just don't like them. I'm going to show you how I like to kind of create like my signature look that really kind of like accentuates and flatters my eye shape. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, girl, this is just like everything you always do. And yes, it is quite, this is literally like my signature look. I'll do like a rose gold or a gold because they're the most flattering on my skin tone. But it's not really about the overall look, it's about the technique and it's also about me demonstrating the palette. And I'm going to be giving you kind of like specific tips on why I do what I do for my big eye shape. Hopefully those of you guys that have larger eyes and wanna learn how to play them up will find this tutorial helpful. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go straight into the eyes. I went ahead and did my eyebrows because it just makes life easier. I'm gonna be using the Edit Eyeshadow Palette. This is the palette that Kendall Jenner curated with Estee. This packaging though, like almost looks like a clutch. Like I wish you could look, it's like that patent leather shine. This is so pretty. And I'm going to be working from darkest to light. This is how they recommend using the palette, working from darkest to light, which is kind of what I do anyway, just for convenience. So I'm gonna take this shade here, the darkest brown. Now with big eyes, this can go from zero to scary very quickly. So what I like to do is I start dabbing at the lash line and kind of building a heavy line. Not only is this going to make your eyelashes thicker, but it's also going to kind of elongate the eye. So as you can see, as I dab, I'm also drag, I shouldn't say dragging, we're not dragging, we don't want premature wrinkles, girl. I'm just basically kind of creating like a wing liner with the shadow. So see how this eye, this just lifted this eye and this eye still looks me. She's still asleep, she ready to party. So just keep building until you, I notice if this line gets too thick, it makes my eyes look really, really big. So if you want that big old eye look, that's up to you. But as for me and my house, this is what I would call my signature eye look. When all else fails, I kind of do the same technique with different colors because it's just so easy and I feel like it's the most flattering on my eye shape. Now I'm using a blending brush to just smoke that out and wing it out more. As I blend, I'm fanning it outward. If you have like fair to medium skin tones, this will work, but I need a little bit more intensity, so I'm going to go ahead and dab just a little bit of that black shadow right on top of it. I'm building that close to that lash line. So now both my eyes are ready to party. We're not done yet, so let's throw on a lid color. I'm gonna take this dusty shade here, And then to really make the eyes stand out and pop, I'm gonna take this rose gold color. It's kind of icy, so it's gonna make the eyes look bigger and it's going to add light. Any type of light frosty color always makes the eyes look big. You'll definitely need to go back and retouch that crease, so go ahead, girl. I wanna add some taupeness. I wanna add this taupe eyeshadow to my crease to kind of tone down some of the shimmer a bit. Smoky brown colors just like this one are usually the most flattering on the bottom lash line, especially for brown eyes. So I'm gonna be popping that along my bottom lash line. It opens up the eye and it adds a little bit of smokiness without looking too overbearing. Sometimes I have to really be careful with what shadows I use under eye because it just makes me look sick. So stay away from frosty colors, stay away from shimmery, icy colors like the lid colors are a no-go under eye. You always wanna use something that's like dark brown. Even like the purples would look amazing along the under eye, but nothing frosty, shimmery, or icy. I'm gonna take the blackest liner, just line my eyes just around the lash line. This is again going to make the lash line look a lot thicker. I'm not even winging the liner, I'm just stamping it in, like pressing like little connected dots. That's a little eyeliner hack for those of you guys that are practicing your liner. Literally just to build into the lash line, I'm gonna take this gold from the palette and use that as a cheekbone highlight. And then my last little signature to make my big eyes pop is my tear duct color. And I'm going to use this one. 
I'm gonna finish the look with two lipsticks, one for color payoff and then another for a little lip highlight. I used On Point all over my lips. And then popped Sunday Vibe on the center. Okay guys, that's the final look. I hope that you liked it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much to Estee Lauder and the Estee Edit for partnering me for this video. Leave it a little old me. I upload videos Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, and be sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat for the days where I'm not uploading so you can still get your daily dose of chocolate, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.